Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a tiny little packet that I have received from China that I thought might be interesting. I order a lot of weird stuff from China and normally kind of every week I make sure to order a couple of packages from China and I have them delivered to work. So um, and the, the shipping time is like one to two months. So when the package arrives, I have no idea what it is. So um, yeah, it's, it's like a little um, surprise package. Although when I unwrap it, I do remember, oh yeah, I ordered that. That's cool, it has arrived. Um, so this is one of the things that I have gotten and I thought it might be interesting uh, to have a go and try that out. Buying things in China is really cheap and the shipping is next to nothing. I know that here in Denmark, those rules are being um, changed because China is no longer being seen as a developing country. So the shipping rules are being changed because people like me buy way too many things from there. So let's see what I got here. So here is everything. There is this custom declarance, which you might know if you ship anything to countries outside of your own or outside the trading agreement thing. I, I'm pretty sure I could ship anything I want to in within the EU and I wouldn't have to fill out any of this stuff. But if I ship anything to the United States or if I wanted to ship this back to China, I'll probably have to make a similar thing and I know when I have received things from Uncle Joe, well, it's the same thing. He has to put in what's in the package and what's the value and so on and so forth. And they have actually put in what's in this one. Uh, they have put a price on it. Um, I'm not gonna, <clears throat> that's not exactly accurate, but well, it's, it's for my benefit. Um, here is the box um, and they have put this really ugly sticker with a barcode on top of everything so ah, I don't think maybe I can maybe it comes off come on come on yeah kind of lucky last little bit wasn't that good so this is a wireless two-in-one audio receiver transmitter bring you the best music to enjoy okay and here's a little drawing of what it does uh, you can have your phone here and you can Bluetooth your audio to this little device and that will send it over to your speakers. You need kind of an amplifier between that and it can also do the other way around. Like if you have some music here, the music, then connect that to the box and it will send the music to a Bluetooth set of headphones. I have that at home. I should have brought that. We can't test that because I don't have any Bluetooth headphones here. Scandal! But we can test that one. So um, yeah, let's get into the box. I have had this open. I was curious when I got it. I usually are. So we have two boxes in the box. Box city box. And we have this. This is the main unit. It's, it's a nifty little thing. It doesn't take up much. It feels exactly like, oh, they forgot to put anything in this box. But it uh, has a little button there and it has some connections there. There are very smallly written here. It says transmit and over here it says receive. And also uh, that's also here, receive and transmit. And that corresponds with those two plugs. Then there's a little micro USB connection here. That's for powering or charging. There is actually a little battery inside this box. It's not big. It's like 600 milliamp hours, but I'm guessing that this device does not need a lot of power. So I have no idea how long it will, it will last on a charge. For, well, probably a couple of hours. Then we have the other box that contains the manual where you have the choice of Chinese letters. I have no, I'm, I'm guessing Chinese. And on the other side, you have English. So um, that's the one that I'm gonna be enjoying way the most. And here it says that the Bluetooth distance is about 10 meters, supported protocols. Um, 
I have no idea what protocols those are. I'm just hoping that it will work. Oh, playtime, eight hours. So apparently the battery will last you eight hours. Charging time, about two hours. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Very nice. If we run into trouble, I'll go back to this. Otherwise, I will, um, I'll see if I can't just plug this in and have it work. So, cables. This one, I actually have an amplifier that has this connection. So I'm gonna be needing this cable, so we're gonna be using that. Then there's the USB cable, that's for the charging bit, just to charge the box. I charge this at work. You got to uh, enjoy the free power that you have there. And then there is a mini jack to mini jack for a um, stereo. Well, if you're gonna plug, you could take this and you could plug it in the headphones of something and you could send the, the audio to something else. Like you could, you could actually mount this on the side of a Walkman and just send the audio directly over to a pair of wireless headphones. So Bluetooth Walkman, that would be it. That would be interesting. So out here in the, I think I call it the winter garden. I have my stereo. Uh, this is a pioneer uh, system that I have picked up on the side of the road. Um, I live in the big city of Aarhus, which is um, not very big compared to other cities in the world. But well, people throw out good stuff and this is one of them. When I just picked up, someone was throwing it out. And it's, well, sometimes it works. There is kind of an amplifier and a subwoofer here together with it. I think most of the systems are down there and some of the systems are up here. So I've been using this with a regular mini jack connection here, going up to one um, well, of the same kind of connections like this. So I could actually just plug the box in here or I could use the cable that comes with it. Uh, my experience is that this has been working just great. So I think we should just try that. Uh, so I don't have to mess with these cables and stuff. And I have... It is working. So where is the box? The box is here. So that would be the... Oh, uh, what is that? Is that the receiver? Or is that the transmitter? Hmm. I think we should try the transmitter there. and just have that hanging there somewhere and see if we can connect to it with the phone. Um, I have usually used just the mini jack connection on my phone, but then I got the new iPhone that does not have a mini jack connection. I have used the, the transformer from the iPhone connector to a mini jack. But well, it's I only have that one, and they're pretty expensive. So, and I thought this would be a good solution to have something wireless, so I could send music to this from anywhere. Music is a problem on YouTube. Um, it's copyrighted, so that's kind of a problem. So let's see if we can find this box anywhere. If it shows up, oh, iOS wants me to update. Uh, they always want me to do that. Um, yeah, don't complain. If you get a really crappy phone, you will only get one update and then they will stop sending you updates. So the fact that they uh, keep pushing out updates is, is kind of good. So Bluetooth is on. Do we see anything? I have a similar device at home. That's the Beaking. Then I have a pair of headsets at work. Then I have my car. Then I have a VR box. I could delete that. I don't need that. So, so how do I get this one to show up? Do I really have to read the manual? Maybe just pressing the button. Oh, we got something. RT6, I'm guessing. Maybe a little salt. Unsuccessful. Let's try and power off. And on. And it doesn't show up. Weird. Let's try that again. There it is. Maybe I'm in the wrong plug, I'm not sure. I think I have to go check the manual. Okay, according to this, what I wanna do is send music from my phone to the box and that's receive mode. So I have to move it over, stupid me. Receive, uh, oh, and, oh, from transmit. Wait for connection. 
to receive. Oh, it speaks. That's interesting. Let's try it now. Connected. It speaks. Holy crap. It wasn't that expensive. I really wouldn't have expected that they have put a English speaking Chinese person inside. But, well, I guess there's room for them. <laughs> Sorry, Chinese people, I'm making fun. So now we are connected on the phone here. So let's see if we can play some music. I'm kind of a fan of Emma Blackery on YouTube. So I've mostly purchased Emma Blackery music on on here. So oh, the, the stereo has this thing that it opens up for you to put a CD in there. So anything, anytime you get too near to it, it will open up and um, that can be kind of irritating. So from time to time, it will just open up when you get close to it and then it will close down again. I'll try and play some of Emma's music here and hope to not get too much of a copy strike. Sounds like that works just fine. Yeah, music works fine. So now it's gonna close up, I guess. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> so it's, it's a tiny little thing that I have bought here. It's gonna work great. I think it turns off when I unplug it. So I have to do that. It would have been okay if they had fitted an on off button on here. Uh, that, that wouldn't have made me mad or anything. So, um, Otherwise than me being stupid and not knowing what transmit and receive meant um, and not looking close enough on the box, well, this was pretty easy to get up and running. So now I can, uh, I can send music to it from far away. I'm wondering if those 10 meters are gonna be accurate. This is just a stupid little device. Um, it, was, it was not expensive at all, I think it I'll put the price over here-ish. And it can play loud as well if you turn it off. And that irritates the neighbors and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.